Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of December reading for you all. December 1st through the 15th reading for Scorpio. How are you all today? I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and well. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. If you all are traveling for the holidays or anything, please be safe. I believe it's December already. It's absolutely crazy when you think about it. On one hand. <laughs> and then on the other hand, I guess it seems like it's lasted forever this year, right? I want this one. I don't know why. It's calling my name. lovers. It's a pretty card. The Emperor. The Fool. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And the Four of Pentacles. Clarifying, Justice, Four of Wands, and the Moon. Nice. Door to Value, and Envy. Is somebody envious of you, or are you envious of someone else? Forgiveness and trust. It might be someone else is envious of you with that forgiveness card. You might need to forgive someone. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. I have a lot of things going through my head right now when I look at some of these cards. So I've got a lot of stories, I feel like. Here's the thing with the lovers. I feel like some of you all are, are in a relationship already and you could possibly be getting closer with someone. Especially when I look at the lovers, I look at the Four of Wands over here, and some people call this an engagement or a marriage card, and honestly, it can be. So some of you all may be getting closer with someone, um, a romantic partner. Now, some of you all may just now be starting out and starting to talk and date and things like that, um, but I feel like for maybe even just for a handful, you may be moving in together or you may be taking the first the next steps and it could be the first kiss it could be saying i love you it could be moving in it could be engagement it could be marriage you know it can go in a lot of different directions but i'm just feeling like that especially with the fool the four of wands the lovers card i just feel like that um you guys are falling deeper in love together. So if you have been in a relationship for a while, maybe this is a good um, stepping stone in your uh, relationship that will make you all bond 
there's maybe something that makes you all bond more or um, get closer in one way or another or maybe you've just been friends for a while and you're now realizing that you're falling in love with this person so either way I feel like that it's a really good feeling that you're gonna have um, with a romantic partner and it could involve you all taking the next steps into a deeper relationship and for some it is getting engaged or married but for some I feel like it's either traveling to go see someone with this fool card it could be a travel card so you guys could be traveling to see each other or you could be um, moving in with someone at this time so and then when I get this Four of Pentacles here too, I feel like for some of you, you've been saving for this or this is um, something you've been looking forward to. So I feel like that it's just a good feeling in general. Now, some of you all are not in relationships because everybody can't be, but if you're not and if you're traveling for something else, whether it's for the holidays, whether it's for an interview, whether it's for business, I feel like that you may be getting some sort of a financial reward out of it. So it just makes me feel like, hold on a minute, hold on. I don't know why I'm picturing people flying in an airplane right now. So some of you all may be either getting a job that you may have to travel or you may be traveling to get a job, <laughs> if that makes sense. So if you're looking for a job right now and um, you've got a resume out there that you're waiting to hear back from and it involves traveling, you may be getting a phone call or a message of some sort in the very near future. And you could possibly, with this door to value, I mean, this is more money, uh, you know. So you could possibly be making uh, more money than you've ever made or um, let me think of how else to, maybe it's just one of the best jobs you've ever had Some for, for some of you too. But there may be some kind of financial reward or financial gain or bonuses or um, some sort of chunks of money that might, you know, sometimes when you get a job and they give you like profit sharing, for instance, and every three months you get a big bonus or um, something to that extent. That's kind of how I'm feeling for, for some of you all, that you may be getting some sort of a big bonus or some sort of stocks or something like that. I mean, it can't be for everybody, but I, I feel like it's really strong. So hopefully it's, it's for more than a handful. If you're looking for a job right now, put your resumes in right away. If some of you all are dealing with the court system, I feel like that there's going to come, something is going to come out of it. And for most of you guys, it's going to be in your favor. Let's say, okay, maybe it's a divorce, for instance, and I don't think it is. I'm just giving you an example, but maybe it's a divorce or maybe you're, it's a child custody case, or maybe you're selling a business, or maybe you're, uh, you've got a lawsuit out there. Um, it can go in a lot of, maybe it's regarding a, uh, inheritance of some sort. I feel like that whatever it is, something's going to come out in your favor. Maybe it's just as simple as a speeding ticket or something simple like that too. But I do feel like if you have to go um, and be in court or have, dealing with the court systems at this time throughout the month of December, I feel like that you're going to be getting uh, the better end of the, the deal or the better end of the stick or however you want to say it. Um, now, I'm not saying that you will get off scotch-free if it's a speeding ticket. You might still have to pay a fine, but maybe they won't give you any points on your record or something like that. There, it just, you know, it makes me feel like you're going to get a better deal than what you thought you would. Let's put it that way. Or you'll be pleasantly surprised. I have a feeling when I get this Emperor card, I'm, I'm, I'm being torn in two different directions. I'm feeling like on one hand this is you 
this is your energy this is who you have um, become which is a really good thing and it makes me feel like that you guys now feel like you're more in control and in charge of the things that's going on in your own life and then on the other hand I feel like that this could be a person that's coming in for you so honestly it could go both directions so if you are um, needing something wanting something um, getting advice from someone maybe it's the judge <laughs> for your speeding ticket you know maybe it's a policeman or an attorney or someone like that maybe it's someone that can give you a loan or sell you a home or give you a job or give you an opportunity of some sort I'm feeling like it's going to come in double for a lot of you all so on one hand you all haven't been um hold on I want to rephrase that over the last several months there's just been a lot going on and you all know it as well as I do and everybody's been going through it and sometimes you've lost yourself sometimes you're not quite sure who you are and what you stand for or if you have any control over certain situations in your life anymore and things like that it's uh, it just makes me feel like you guys are like okay I'm a I'm past all of that I'm gonna take charge over my life the Emperor is a well-adjusted, well-respected, all a good person in every direction and they see all sides of everything and that's who you guys have become and it's a really good feeling that I have because you guys have now taken back control by taking back charge, taking back um, your own life to a certain extent and you're really happy. And it just makes me feel like you're well respected and you're well um, you, you deserve it to be honest I mean um, you guys have have been going through roller coasters um, throughout the whole year like like everybody it's not just you all it's everybody um, but sometimes when you finally can put your foot down and finally say this is what I'm gonna do this is how I'm gonna handle it and this is what I'm in control over and it just makes you feel like like the the bricks have fallen from your shoulders and you're now back in control and back in charge of your own life and if, if the life of the people around you it's just a really good feeling now when I get this envy and this forgiveness over here it kind of makes me feel like that somebody's done you wrong or somebody has thrown you under the bus it kind of makes me feel like either somebody lied about you, somebody um, took something from you, somebody has, I want to say cheated on you, but I don't mean in a um, romantic way. I almost feel like that somebody's just done something wrong and you know when people are envious of you or your life or your job or your home or your car or your boyfriend girlfriend husband wife um, they tend to act funny <laughs> to say the least so sometimes they might be a little jealous and in return they might say or do something that's really just plumb stupid and I feel like that you're gonna find out about it and you're gonna need to forgive this person so I just feel like that um, they may have had a bad moment they may have had a weak moment they may have been drinking or something and and said something that they shouldn't have but I do feel like you guys are going to work it out and I feel like you when you forgive and it could be this same person and this could have been going on for a while and it could have just happened yesterday you need to forgive them and you need to move forward now this forgiveness card may be someone or something or a situation from a while back there's something that's going on with this forgiveness card that makes me feel like you all have been um, 
hanging on to something. And let me just say, Scorpios do that. Um, it's not a bad thing, and I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying that sometimes somebody does you wrong. You may forgive them, but you don't forget, right? And I understand that completely. So it's almost one of these things that for some of you, this has been, you've been dragging this regret almost that's how i'm feeling around with you and you might just need to let go of it you all and sometimes and you guys have probably heard me say this before but i gotta say it again sometimes it all it takes is is writing this person a letter maybe maybe it's someone that's broken your heart in the past maybe it's somebody that has cheated on you in the past maybe it's someone that um has done you wrong or lied about you or or done something threw you under the bus like I said earlier and you just need to let it go and sometimes when you write them a letter even though you don't plan on giving it to them and then you rip it up throw it away burn it whatever you feel so much better because you get all of those emotions out of your mind and out of your heart and out of your soul and once you get it out there you're like okay now I can move forward and honestly forgiving is in your best interest don't even if you don't necessarily look at it on their side it's in your best interest to forgive and move forward and then I get this trust over here now you can take this in different ways trust the your partner trust uh, in and have faith in um, things working out for you trust and believe and have faith that um, maybe spiritually as well as um, maybe hold on I'm, I have all of this stuff going through my head right now I'm a firm believer that and I and some of you all may say, yeah, yeah, right, Mary, but I really do believe that good things happen to good people. I really do. And I'm also a, a firm believer that whatever you're wanting in life, you have to make it happen. You have to put your foot forward in order to get certain things. You have to um, manifest to a certain extent and, and start looking forward to it and start believing in it and start having faith about it and start praying about it and meditating over it. And when you start doing these things, things start happening and they start appearing in front of your very eyes. And in that, it's like you're trusting and you're believing and you're having faith that things will happen in your best interest and in your best and your benefit so that's how i'm seeing this today and that's the reason why i had to just pause for a second and give you um the whole picture because that's what i'm feeling it's almost like um positive positive people bring in positivity it's a proven fact um and i know you've heard me say that before too but i can't help it because it's true. If you want it, if you want more positive things to happen, you have to be in a more positive frame of mind and you've got to think positive, act positive, speak positive, and then you'll notice that more positive things happen. If you are a Debbie Downer and all you can do is be negative and hateful and throw things and cuss all the time and just my life is never going to change and all of this other nonsense, of course it's not going to change because you're not helping it. <laughs> You're not making it change. You're just sitting there feeling sorry for yourself. So try to stay positive. <laughs> I, know, I know that was a really long story. For that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but stay positive, you all. You guys are positive people anyway, and you're going to see more positive things. That's where this emperor came in too, by the way. For you all to stay positive and, and start respecting and start knowing who you are and standing up for who you are and seeing everything in every direction, that's who you all are now. So that's how I'm feeling about it. Your intuition is going to be stronger than it has been in a long time. You guys are intuitive already. But you're going to notice your gut's going to start pointing things out and steering you in different directions so please listen to it.
okay? It's important. I feel like you're going to have options. I feel like some of you all have been saving for something specific or you're about to start saving or maybe you're just hanging on to something too tight um, with this, but I feel like Okay, on one hand, some of you all have been saving and you guys are going to be um, maybe getting married or moving or buying a home or renting an apartment or something like that. For others, I feel like you feel like you have to in order to make sure that you can pay your bills for the next month or, you know, for the next several months. Some of you all may be struggling a little bit financially, but I really do believe that there's going to be a lot of you all that get some sort of financial gain. And you may or may not even be expecting it this month. Balance. Give me just a minute, okay? Oh, crap. We're already on 21 minutes, you all. I've just been talking your ear off. I'm sorry. Let me show you something. You know, I get excited when I get this Fool card. I get excited because some of you all have been wanting to do something different or been wanting to take a risk somehow, some way. And I feel like now might be the time for things to start happening for you. It could be regarding this new relationship, but overall in general, you're feeling good about who you are. And I love that. Here's the thing. I've got to make this quick because I've been talking too long. I'm sorry. I just feel like for some of you, you've been saving and there is something that's going to be happening, something that you're going to be building or growing or um, this is a foundation that you're going to be uh, making bigger or um, growing on. So I get excited about that. Now, for some of you, it is engagements, marriages, um, moving in together. Maybe it's vacations at this time. Maybe it's for the holidays just makes me feel like you guys have been saving money maybe for something specific for others you all are having to save every penny that you have right now because of the uncertainty of everything that's going on um but i do think that you may be getting some sort of financial reward or gain or some kind of financial help in the very near future possibly this month that gets me excited some people see this as a sneaky card, but I don't. I see it as uh, someone that's, you're coming up with some sort of a solution and you're using common, common sense and you're street smart and you're going to do something that's really good for you and maybe your loved ones or your family or your relationship. And I'm happy as anything for you. With this Two of Pentacles, this can go in different ways. Either you're juggling a couple of things at once or you're going to have um, more options coming in. So if you're looking for a new job at this time, you may have two different jobs that come in and you're going to be able to pick and choose it's an optimistic happy too okay now on the flip side maybe it's an apartment that you're juggling you're going to get accepted for two different apartments or two different homes or two different um business locations or something like that I just, I, it's a good feeling that i have so with all of that being said i feel like that your intuition is going to kick up i do feel too with this moon card this envy card some of you all may, and forgiveness, some of you all may have been going through some sort of uh, jealousy. Some Somebody may be jealous of you. And it could just be a friend, you all, or a sibling or something to that extent. And they may have thrown you under the bus or talked down on you or lied about you. But I do believe that that's all going to work itself out. And you guys are going to feel a lot better about your relationship in the very near future if you want to. That's really left up to you. But I do also feel like you might need to forgive someone or a situation that may have happened right now with this or it could have happened in the past. In order to do that, I would suggest to write it down, write them a letter, um, write whatever has been bothering you, throw it away, if you, you know, rip it up, burn it, whatever. Just getting that off your chest helps tremendously, you all. I'm telling you. With this full card, I feel like that you're about ready to take a risk. You're about to do something that you have either been wanting to do for a while or you just thought about 
but it's something that gets you excited and something that makes you feel like a kid again. It could possibly be with your new relationship or um, getting engaged or getting married or moving in or maybe even finding out you're pregnant or something to that extent. So it gets me excited. Now some of you may just be traveling for the holidays or moving somewhere different, that type of thing. Some of you all may be wanting to move out of the city and into the country. You may be able to work from home. So it's just any, there's just a lot of different things flying through my head right now. So it can go in, in all kinds of different directions. But then when I get to this emperor right here, I feel like this is two-sided. I feel like on one hand, you guys are finally feeling good about who you are and what you stand for, and you're respecting and loving yourself again, and you're feeling like you're more in charge than you have probably in months. So that, on one hand, gets me really excited. Now, on the flip side of this, and, and this is how I'm feeling about it, two different people, two different situations with this one card, I feel like that this person's coming in to help you all in one way or another. Maybe it's just advice, maybe it's someone in your church, your neighbor, you're a judge, a policeman, an attorney. It can go in a lot of different directions. Maybe it's somebody that owns a big business giving you a job or an opportunity or something to that extent. Maybe it's a guy that works at the president of a bank that's gonna give you a loan. Maybe it's someone that's gonna let you rent their home or their apartment. I don't know exactly. It's gonna be totally different for everyone. This person is coming in to help you, okay? With that, I have this justice that makes me feel like your life is balancing out more now than it has in quite some time. And on the on the flip side of that, if you have any kind of court dealings or um, going in front of a judge or have any kind of uh, issues that way through the court, you may be getting the be most of you all are going to be getting the better end of the deal, I feel, for most of you. And then when I get this Four of Wands here, this is a great card because it can go in so many different directions. New jobs, new homes, new relationship, engagements, weddings, babies, graduations, retirement, any reason to actually have a party at your house or, or, a, t or a reason to celebrate something, it could be happening at this time. So that gets me excited. Always try to stay positive, trust, believe, have faith, pray, and you will find that that helps more than anything in just staying positive. With this door to value, a lot of you all may be getting some sort of financial gain, financial rewards, financial bonus. Maybe it's for the holidays, but maybe it's for this new job or this new uh, promotion that some of you all may be getting. And some of you all are going to be able to travel with your new job. Don't forget that. Um, so overall, in general, this is a fantastic reading. I'm sorry it took, I went so long. This is uh, the first half of December reading, December 1st through the 15th reading for Scorpio. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed it. I hope everybody has a great holiday. Please be safe if you're traveling, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.